Oftentimes in science, after collecting data or performing an experiment, we want to compare the values that we calculated with what the known values are or what the theoretical values are. And then based on how close our calculations are to what we thought we were supposed to get, well, we can do something called an error analysis or we can calculate the percent error. Percent error is a comparison between your experimental value and the theoretical value. So the experimental value, that's the value that you get in the lab, that you actually calculate yourself. The theoretical value, that's the value that um, other scientists believe, believe it to be, or the known value. Sometimes it's called the accepted value. Sometimes it's called the true value. Either way, here's a formula. Percent error equals the absolute value, don't forget the absolute value, of the theoretical value minus your experimental value divided by the theoretical value and of course times 100. So be sure to copy this down or memorize it because we'll be using it quite a bit this year. Let's do one quick example. Let's say you experimentally calculated the density of iron to be 7.08 grams per centimeter cubed. So this is your experimental value. Then you looked up the density in a textbook and you find it to be 7.87 grams per centimeter cubed. What is your percent error? So this is the value you calculated. This is what other scientists believe the value of, of iron to be. So let's compare the two and see how off your results were. So here's our formula. And just plug stuff in. So the theoretical value, remember, is 7.87. The value you got is 7.08. And we'll divide that by the theoretical value and multiply everything by 100. So your percent error is 10%. And that makes sense. You got um, this value. The value you should have gotten is this value. And that's about 10% off.